I ain't come all this way to get myself killed just because you got no patience. Are you listening to me? I ain't chasing them no further. You don't want to go in there, I'll take them myself. Yeah, go on. Serve yourself up for breakfast. Damn fool. I've got a plan. No, hold it, call. Call? Damn. Sorry, let's, let's have a drink. Whiskey. How you doing? Can I buy you a drink? You got one. How about your brother over there? You got one? How'd you know it was my brother? Something in the eyes? No? Oh, it's the nose. You both got the same nose. Mm. Another one. Looks like you've been on the trail for a while. What the hell you care where I've been? Just, just passing the time. You know, now that I think of it, you do look very familiar to me. Sure you've never been to San Antonio? No. Easy call. Murder and robbery in three states. This here wanted poster must be wrong then, huh? Bounty hunters. That's right. And we are very tired of chasing your sorry ass. Ain't that right, Siles? Call, they want him alive. You're the worst kind of scum, killing men and calling yourself the law. I don't think you're in any position to be so critical. Some plan. Didn't quite work out like I expected. You sure of that? Tell them horses off delivery for you. Turn them bodies in for the reward. Otherwise, the law will take them. Why the hell don't you come on with me? What do you got against going to Curtis Wells anyhow? I told you I ain't going there. Why not? Silas. All right. Sorry. I'll catch up to you in the end of the week. Trust in soul. I know you can't blow any money in Curtis Wells. There ain't no whorehouse. <laughs> now you tell me. You just keep on trying to get yourself killed. Maybe one day you'll succeed. <laughs> I'll meet up with you in Miles City. Mm. Lori, you 
our beauty. J'embellis avec l'argent. Now what does that mean? I get more beautiful the more you spend on me. Hmm. You know, I might have just married you if you were halfway respectable. <laughs> <laughs> But I ain't. Mm -hmm. Get out of here, Flory. No, you get. Move it. I ain't having no killing in my room, Pat. I said now, nah, woman. Look what we got. You brought up the wrong man this time, cowboy. You have been overzealous, as usual, Chow. A chow for Mr. Silas, a bounty hunter out of Abilene. Oh, yes. Leave us, will you? I don't think You that. think too much, Chow. And by the looks of Mr. Silas here, all the wrong thoughts. You will excuse us. You're obviously stubborn. That's good. And courageous, that too is good. What would you think about adding sensible to that list? You see, I, unlike myself there, am always prepared to negotiate. You got the wrong man. You come into my town, dragging four dead desperados, well done, by the way, and the next thing I know, you're robbing me blind. You can imagine my disappointment. Now, how did you come to have my money on you? I don't know how that money got there. Somebody must have put it there. Two of my men were killed on the road to Miles City. Good men. And where's the rest of my money? I mean, there's still 2,000 in gold coins unaccounted for. Come here to collect bounty. I know you're working with someone. Someone close to me. I mean, only a handful of people knew about that gold. Those were my friends that you murdered. Men I trusted. Do you know how important trust is, Mr. Silas? Trust, well, forget about gold. Trust is the currency on which we survive. Now, who betrayed me? If I knew, I swear I'd tell you. Mr. Silas. Do you know what a leader is? A leader is a man who will not be defied. Now, if I don't get answers, I'm gonna have to make an example of you. Hang you up for the whole town to see. You'd be hanging an innocent man. I must maintain my authority. Now, I can keep the sheriff off your back. Hell, I can save your neck, son, but I, I cannot help you unless you help me. What do you want me to do with him? Lock him up, but keep the pressure on. He'll turn to me eventually. anything about the murder of my men, I suggest you come over to my office, have a little chat right away. Because uh, this man here, 
He will talk. And when he does, I will no longer be in the mood for clemency. As you will, Mr. Vale. Nice habit, shooting people for no reason. You surprised me is all. Man moves that quick most times has a good reason. Stay used to towns. Plan on staying here? No, nope. just passing through. Sheriff Walker. You know that fella? No. Just curious is all. We don't want no trouble around here now. I don't like causing it. That's fine. Seems a strange kind of justice. Sheriff watching a man get beat like that. Clay Mosby owns this town. Doesn't anybody else have a say? Mosby's a popular man hereabouts. You'd be wise to bear that in mind. You won't pay to get in his wrong side. No mind. Thanks, sir. Open for business. Well, I'll be. Well, ain't you a sight? Newspaper man turned deputy. Didn't think I'd been gone that long. It's good to see you. What are you doing back here? Come to get a damn fool friend of mine out of a fix. Don't give me that look, Silas. This here's my brother-in-law. You were kin? Yep. Do you know this fella? Been riding with him nearly a year. Bounty hunting. That's right. Putting outlaws where they belong. In the ground. If they don't come peaceable. Anyways, I can vouch for Silas here. He ain't no thief or murderer. He stays in jail till he confesses. I was set up. Hey! Austin! I know him. You heard me. You looking for trouble? You can join him. He's got into you. Things change. Or ain't you noticed? It's just a misunderstanding, that's all. I'll get you out. I promise. Been back to your ranch? No. No, it's still there, right where you left it. Good to see some things never change. Hannah's buried out by the church. That's all. Least she can do is pay her respects, even if it has been two years. I didn't kill her, Austin. You didn't save her either. your hands away from your gun. Don't seem too proper shooting a man dead in his own place. You don't look like a rancher to me. I ain't no more. 
You want to put down that there weapon? Could go off. It's not going to go off unless I want it to. Don't think I haven't noticed that gunslinger's rig you've got. I'm done here anyways. You stay as long as you need. I just needed a place to rest. I'm on my way to Curtis Wells. Is this really your place? Saddle trash, anyhow. Leave me. Saddle trash. History I went and coughed up. You've changed. You ain't. Not one bit. Friend of yours? Nathan Salas. A name you're not gonna forget. Sounds an awful lot like a threat, Mr. Carl. You're not aiming to provoke me after all this time, are you? He was a good man. I didn't kill your friend. But like you, I want whoever did. Perhaps you and I could be of use to one another. Drink? Damn it. I never lost a prisoner. Fifteen years. Did you get a good look at him? Uh, no. Stuck in and stole him right out from my enemy. Well, forget about it. Better get the doc to take a look at that head. I rarely start this early, but I'm as pleased about this lynching as you are. Seems to me nothing goes on in this town anymore without your say-so. Well, that's true. And the town is flourishing, wouldn't you say? Silas was no thief. The evidence indicates otherwise. Then he was set up. Well, that's a possibility. Carlson, give us a moment, will you? Newt Call, bounty hunter. Imagine. I got a business proposition for you. Give that up and come and work for me. I could use a man of your skill. I'm gonna find out who done this. If it turns out you had a hand in it, I'll kill you. Oh, call, look around you. Curtis Wells is mine now. Of course it is, now. In your absence, I took the liberty of arranging a memorial for Hannah. You don't say her name to me. Why don't you just stack that here for now? Gotta find my new partner.
cowboy. That's enough. Get away. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, stop pointing that at me. Can't you tell he was thieving? Well, that may very well be. That doesn't mean you can just come into my town and start shooting up my streets. We got laws here, you know? Effective, ain't they? Where's your husband? I don't have a husband. I don't have any keys to my gunsmith shop either. You're the one who's going into business with Mr. Huber. That's right. Where is he? Well, he got waylaid. Asked me to give you the key, as a matter of fact. The lady gunsmith. Sharing space with an undertaker. That's uh, ironic, wouldn't you say? I think it's practical. I supply the bullets, and he supplies the graves. <laughs> Clay Mosby. Maddie Shaw. Well, Miss Shaw, anything I can do for you, you just let me know. And welcome to Curtis Wells. time. We buried her without you. Couldn't wait. I'm sorry. It's a long time ago. Been on the road for some time. Never seemed to stay in one place for more than I've been bounty hunting. Well, money is important. Not as important as some things. Josiah, I'm sorry. Of course you are. Sweet cowboy. I'll give it to you, Ruth. Who's the most expensive girl? Now, why waste your money when you can get the same pot of honey for half the price? Who is she? Flory. Where's her room? Upstairs. She's busy. I'm next. How you are. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're next. Give a lady a minute to make herself presentable, cowboy. I just need to talk is all. The price is still the same. Nathan Silas had not for the ladies. My guess is he went for you. I never ask a call his name. Besides, one's the same as the next. Oh, you'd remember, Nathan. They found him swinging from the gallows this morning. He was with me when the sheriff busted in and hauled him off. That's all I know. Was he alone? Hell, I don't know. Vale. He was with Mosby's man, Vale. They'd been drinking pretty good. Vale. He the one with the whip? That's him. Anything else? You show Silas a good time? We had a fine old time. The best. I'm sure you did. You gotta realize Carl's a danger to us all. There's no way to control him. 
Stop worrying, Pat. We'll be moving on soon enough. You're not listening to me. Have another drink. The way I heard it, you tried to steal his wife away. That's not the kind of thing a man's going to find easy to forget. That's enough. Wake up, Clay. The fellow's hurting inside. He's eating up. He's going to destroy you. You know nothing about it. Damn you. You're not the only one involved in this, you know. News. So what do you think of the new Curtis Wells? Not much. Mosby's got plans for this little town, big plans. Things go his way, we could become the capital when we get... Well, there's a stink in here. And it's coming around here someplace. I thought that you'd have enough horse sense to be long gone by now. You know, I'm just here for a drink. I don't need none of your grief. You may have Mosby snookered, but I know you're like. Time you me talk. We got a problem here. I'll never know for sure if you killed Silas. On the other hand, maybe I'll kill you anyways. I can't breathe. What was that? How do you think Silas felt when you lynched him, huh? Did Mosby have you kill him? Why'd you set him up? Don't you lie to me. Work most people. Who then? Who are you working for? Come on! Leave him be. Stay out of this, Austin. Two days back in town, you're already in trouble. He drew first. I wish I hadn't had to kill him. Cause one of you's mighty glad he's dead. What are you talking about? Dead men don't tell tales, do they, Sheriff? He'd say anything to save his hide. Now what tales would he have told, Mr. Cole? The name of his partner. Who stole your money? Who sold you out? Is it you, Austin? Sheriff Walker? Quit blowing smoke, he ain't scaring nobody. That's why Silas had to be killed. For 2,000 pieces of gold he didn't even know about. Because what if someone found out he was innocent? You've developed quite a fanciful imagination, Mr. Cole. Set him free. Why? You can't just come into town and start shooting people, Mosby. You can if I say you can, and I say it was self-defense. Unlock the door, deputy. I want my gun, too. Clay, you can't let him walk. He's a wild dog. I won't stop till he finds the truth. That ought to prove interesting. Don't you think? It's damn mud. It's in everything. Morning, ladies. Morning. Della, why don't you go have a talk with Twyla? She ain't here. Well, then go talk to yourself. Might early for a romance, ain't it? 
Someone's anxious to give up a chance. Mm. Laying in bed with you is never a chance. What did I tell you about doing this in public, hmm? Huh? Could we get serious for a moment? Yes. I understand you had a conversation with Mr. Cole. You get him enlightened me? Josiah, tell me about Austin. Why would he agree to be Mosby's deputy? He turned to drink. And Mosby pulled him together. Changed his life. Of course, that's not good enough for Austin. Too much. What's too much? Everything's different. It's all changed. Men flying too high. Too close to the sun, like Deedless. Was it Icarus? Yeah, Calm Icarus. Calm down, Josiah. What men? He's not happy. He has ambitions. Austin? Austin. Austin! He has too many dreams. Friend of yours, huh? I reckon so. I swear in all my life I've never seen a town so quick to shoot first and ask questions later. It's a great place to sell guns. Oh, well, this town ain't much, but I try and keep it on its toes. Maybe it'll grow on you. Well, you're mighty confident. Am I? Austin, it's time you and I sorted some things out. The only reason I don't shoot you right here and now is because of Josiah. What the hell are you talking about? Who are you, Austin? Do you know? Because I don't recognize you anymore. That's rich coming from you, Cole. Tell me. Was it you? Mosby have a hand in it? You're serious? You really think I killed Silas? I hope I'm wrong. Does God help me if I'm right? You got a lot of nerve coming here and accusing me of murder. I just wanted to know where you stood. I'll tell you where I stood, brother. I stood next to my father. I held him up when they put your wife in the ground. I took your place. Look what it's done to him. He's gone crazy from the grief of it. Now, if you'd only bothered to stay. You don't think I know that already? You left when we needed you most. I miss her. I miss her all the time. So do I. There's nothing left for you here, you son of a bitch. What are you gonna do? Kill me. Oscar, now you leave in town, Carl. But you keep getting mixed up in business that ain't yours. You killed him. Killed who? Silas. You're the one! You getting all bent out of shape over a used up old bounty hunter? I overestimated you, Carl. I thought you was a man of substance. You bastard! That was for Vail. Heard about your wife. 
you must have uh, regretted the day she ever laid eyes on you. I got a peacemaker that'll blow you to hell. Show yourself. I need a gun. Guess this makes us even, you busting into my place and all. Hold still, damn it. You should get that clean proper. You should go and see a doctor. No. No doctor. What was so important about you getting a gun tonight? Why couldn't you come by in the morning? Got something I can't wait. Killing a man? But I know this is about your wife. I know she died. You don't know nothing of it. Come on, Father. Try and eat something. Where's Newt? He rode out of town yesterday. If he's smart, he won't come back. I feel his presence. What you're feeling is craziness in your own head. It's a sign, Austin. His return is a sign. He's gone bad. You saw him. He's nothing but a killer. He's a lawman like you. No. He's nothing like me. Isn't he? Punishes the guilty and protects the innocent. Things are gonna change with him around. Why is it still about him? I'm the one who stayed, Father. He ran. He ran like a whipped dog, and he didn't turn back. He's still my son-in-law. Nothing will change that. Maybe. But he's nothing to me. Not anymore. I wish he'd never married Hannah. And maybe... Austin, stop it. She's beyond us now. She's free of this. I've been thinking about taking a little time off. Maybe take a little run over to San Francisco. No, I was wanting to see the ocean. Hell, you could buy the damn ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Boys. Morning. I seen something might interest you. Such as? Well, that depends on how generous you're feeling. Darling, you know how things work around here. You're hurting me. Spit it out. Uh, it's Carl. He's back. I uh, seen him over at the Undertaker's last night. Flora. You're a gambling girl, aren't you? If the game is one I like watching. Well, let's say you would have pit two powerful men against each other. One of them's brutal, the other half crazy. Which one would you bet on surviving? Depends. Is one of them that call fella? Maybe. You think of Call as a powerful man? Mm-hmm. And so do you. What if the sheriff kills him? Oh, well, now, in that case, 
I would have to take matters into my own hands. It's a fine little town I picked to settle down in. It was a fine town. A couple years back. Yeah, well, folks get the town they deserve. Maybe. The sheriff ain't gonna face you down alone. Deputy Peel's gonna be with him. You'd best stay out of it. You'd shoot him too? He's kin. Not no more. What's the trouble? Your damn brother-in-law, that's what. He's back? Not for long. What did he do? Cross my once too often. Oh, and that's reason to kill the man. Listen, deputy, you got no stomach for this? Then I suggest you stand clear of it. Plan on getting in the way? Wouldn't dream of it. Sheriff Walker! He'll kill you, Cole! He had Silas killed for nothing. I am to make him pay. And make him false accusations, boy. Let me take his word against mine. Why don't you and I have a private little talk? Let's see why four men have to die. I choose the place. I choose the time. Oh my God. I choose now! This Sheriff Peel. I'm certain you'll do it justice. Kicks to the right. That's very impressive. Suppose you want me to hang now. Oh, hardly. You've done the town of service. That's so. Of course, there's no bounty on shelves, but uh, I'm sure I could scare up some kind of recompense to see you on your way. I don't need your money. I got what I wanted. So, uh, where are you headed next? Right here. What? I'm staying here. <laughs> 